the San Antonio Spurs here at AT&T Center. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Kevin, thanks. Donovan Mitchell grew up around pro athletes. His father worked in Major League Baseball. And Donovan said, I saw guys making millions, staying humble and grounded. I also saw the other side. So I try to treat people right. I grew up that way, and the NBA doesn't change it. Kevin, he's showing as much as he's talking about it. What a great guy. D.A., thank you for that. And checking out Utah's opening lineup. Mitchell is the two with Ingles at the three. Rudy Gobert is out there at Bogdanovich. And it's Conley in at the one spot. And for the Spurs, Rudy Gay is out there at DeRozan. Then there's Purdy. Then it's White. And it's Murray in at the one. So off the tip, it's Utah. Conley against Murray. Mitchell kicks to Gobert. Back to Mitchell. And stolen by White. Gay passes to DeRozan. Here's White. A three-pointer, no good. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Utah Jazz. And it's Mitchell with the jam. Well, if you don't stay in front and you allow him room to drive, you will pay the consequence. Donovan Mitchell with authority. Here's DeRozan. Here's Pirtle. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. The Spurs shooting their first free throws of the game. Jacob Pirtle at the line for two. Shooting two. No good on the free throw. So how cool is it that Jakob Pertl makes NBA history as the first ever Austrian-born player in the league? Doesn't matter what else he does in his career, he'll always have that distinction. That's cool. And he sinks the second. And here is Conley. Has to go bare. Kicks to Mitchell. Makes it off the glass. Well, it's a level of concentration that has to happen for you to finish through contact. Donovan Mitchell doing work. Here's White. Buries it down low. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Conley with it. Bogdanovich has for two. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. That's three straight shots to fall here to start. Looking good. Pass to Gay. Now here's White. Stolen by Conley. Oh, and here comes Conley. All alone. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Boy, they came ready to play. That's four straight buckets to start the game. The Jazz shooting their first free throw of the night. most 
respected players in the league, and I don't see this guy stopping anytime soon. He brings great effort every single night, plays with a team-minded selflessness, is a big shot maker. This guy has had such a solid, probably underrated career. Shot clock at five. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Boy, having a hard time making shots. Just one for four to start this game. Bogdanovich dishes to Gobert. To the middle. Here's Mitchell. That shot, no good. Murray with the defensive effort. Not a problem when that's your first miss of the game. Strong start. Gay passes to Burton. White looking around. Yet another miss. Just one for five. Not exactly an ideal start. Rebounded by the Spurs. They look to start a new streak after losing on Monday. I'll tell you, they played hard. They drew fouls, but they could not convert at the line. One of the things that you know when you miss free throws is you're giving the team opposite you all the momentum. You're failing to capitalize on their mistakes. The Spurs have gone one for two on the night so break. far from the line. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And both free throws, good for White. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Conley, the pass to Gobert. And there's the pass to Bogdanovich. The Jazz again can't hit it. And Murray's got the ball here for the San Antonio Spurs. Four-point game. Well, the defense daring him to shoot, and he makes them pay for their disrespect. Conley, the pass to Gobert. This is to Mitchell. And then Mitchell hit the dunk. Well, Rudy Gobert stands seven foot one, and he's an unselfish guy. It puts the pass on the money. Murray against Mitchell. Murray gets to DeRozan over Ingle. And it's DeRozan missing. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. White against Bogdanovich. Bucket is good. White's got his third basket of the night. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Conley dishes to Mitchell. Over White. Offensive rebound. Gobert. And Pirtle sends it back. Very hard to get a shot off over Jakob Pirtle when he's that tight on you. Too much size, too much length. From the line. And the dunk by Pirtle. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the board. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. Right on the bucket. Mitchell's got eight. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. There's real synergy in play right now on the offensive end. The pass was right where it needed to be. Now here's Gobert. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Bogdanovich. Good work defensively by Gay. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Just doing the job on the back door. Here's Bogdanovich. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Rudy Gay. Uh, Bogdanovich staying confident down low, being physical with the defense, and gets rewarded with a trip to the foul line. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. First free throw is good. Well, boy. 
Bogdan Bogdanovich may be one of the most underrated players in this league. This guy understands his role and plays it well. So San Antonio goes with a fresh five on the floor. Then for the Jazz, Derek Favors checked in for Gobert. Ilyasova comes in for Joe Ingles, and it's Clarkson in for Mitchell. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. San Antonio trailing here. Outside, Walker. Now Mills over Conley. Mills can't hit. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whips on that. Bogdanovich passes the favor. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Very difficult to match up with favors. I love how under control, under duress he was right there. Here's Walker. Count that one. Man, you can see the defense broke down there, allowing him to get all the way to the hoop. Jazz have gone an even 50% from the field. They are 7 of 14 for the game. Down the kicks to Clarkson. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. How about Jordan Clarkson? The ability at his position to absorb contact and finish the play. Here's Mills. He's now one for two with that bucket. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Elias Oba passes to Clarkson. And he dunks it down. Well, Jordan Clarkson loves the offensive end, and he's in the flow on that drive. That's nice. Passes it to Eubanks. Here's Jang. No points in the game yet for him. Five on the clock. On deep. It's rebounded by Derek Favors. He's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. The Jazz have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. One falls for Royce O'Neal's checked in for the Jazz. And so Bogdanovich nails both of them. Here's Mills. Outside, Walker. Here's Mills. He's covered by Clarkson. Utah leading by five. He kicks it to O'Neal. Now here's Ilias Ova. He's tightly guarded. Here's Walker. Score the basket, his second of two attempts. Well, everyone's seeking those high percentage looks in the restricted area. Nicely done there. O'Neal passes to Clarkson. And the shot is good. Well, Jordan Clarkson came into the NBA as an aggressive scorer. And in the mid-range, he is as good as it gets. Jang, the pass to Johnson. Jang inside, working on favors, and Jang gets it to go. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Pass to Bogdanovich. No good from outside. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. Down low, Eubanks. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. Bogdanovich finds Clarkson. Let's the free fly. Rebound by Chang. And it's Mills with the ball for the San Antonio Spurs. They trail by one. Spurs working the ball around now. Johnson, the pass to Chang. Six to shoot. Mills with it. O'Neal's there. 
Utah's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Bogdanovich has got great size for a guard, which makes defending him very difficult, particularly at that high release point. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. First free throw is good. DeMar DeRosa, he's checked in for Johnson. And a switcher also for Utah. George Niang, he's checked in for Ilyasova. And so Bogdanovich nails both of them. 1.14 left here in the first quarter. Pass Mills. Here's DeRosa. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Well, that's really good work inside from DeMar DeRozan. You know, he knows how to get position where a defender is almost forced to foul him. San Antonio shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. You know, the determination that DeMar DeRozan plays with, it's sort of this steely, I'm going to get where I want to go, and don't sleep on his athleticism. Mitchell, he's checked in for Utah. Both free throws good from DeRozan. Utah leading. Niang kicks to Mitchell. To the inside. And Derek Favors with the slam. Well, to me, this is what great point guards do. Donovan Mitchell demonstrating just how skilled he is at connecting with open teammates. Now, here's Mills. DeRozan for three. Happy to see that one go in for a second make in five attempts. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. And dishes to Mitchell. Shoots over Walker. And it's Mitchell missing. San Antonio's gone 2 of 5 from three point land here in the first quarter. Up top to Rosen. He's covered by Clarkson. And Chang gets it to go. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. And here is Mitchell. He's got eight. With two seconds left, here's Favors. Derek White has been on display for the San Antonio Spurs. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And always interesting to hear from Donovan Mitchell, who recently spoke about the team's progress. Everybody had their expectations of what we should be or will be, but at the end of the day, you know, we got to be able to focus on us, you know. Uh, obviously, we went through a little bit of a rough patch, you know, we're still figuring things out, but we can make adjustments and continue to build. And I think we're playing great basketball. I think we're doing things the right way. And you know, Greg, Mitchell's going to be right in the middle of it, leading the way. And on top of everything else he does, he's elite at getting his own shot. We've seen him carry this team offensively at times. Boy, he is special. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. Hey guys, what's your take on the Spurs so far? Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. I love the determination. They want to go after every rebound out there and overwhelming to the opposition right now. We've got Mills. Jang is out there at the Rosen. And it's Walker in at the two spot. So that's who San Antonio starts the second round. Mitchell passes to Fabers. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. Offline with his three. Here's Walker. And contact on the shot. So he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. The Spurs shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. At the line for two. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Walker. So both teams making some changes here. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Mitchell passes to Gobert. Here's Niang. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Gabe. White is checked in for San Antonio. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And you've got to take your defense up a notch in the playoffs. He takes it up about three notches on that block. Shot clock at six. Spurs leading by six. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assist. White's got 11. And beginning to take charge of this game. This could be a crucial point. Well, working hard, building out a small lead, but you can't afford any kind of letdown here. And Murray's got the ball here for the Spurs. Only giving up two points this quarter. Outs pass game. Outside DeRozan. And it's San Antonio with another. Well, as always, that mid-range game of DeMar DeRozan, almost unstoppable. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And then Mitchell with the dunk. A oh, power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. that could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Pass to Murray. Outside, White. From deep three-point range, a rebound by the Jams. Gobert's got six rebounds here tonight. Mitchell with it. He's got ten inside. And Purgles sends it back. On the wing, Mitchell. No oh, good with the triple. Spurs leading by six. Down low, White. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. 13 points in the game. Boy, what a thing of beauty by DeMar DeRozan. His eyes are up. He locates his teammate. Just so pretty. Here's Mitchell. Gobert trying to get open. And it's Mitchell missing. The Spurs have gotten four of their first five shots to fall in the second quarter. Outstanding shooting. DeRozan. That's good. DeRozan's got the lead up to 10 now for the Spurs. Well, I have always loved the willingness of DeMar DeRozan to mix it up physically. He's got a lean frame, but it doesn't mean he's got a lean game. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jams. Yeah, I think one thing Coach will address in this timeout right now is you're missing a lot of shots. Why not become more of a facilitator out there? Jazz trail by 10. Niang kicks to Mitchell. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Gay with the defensive effort. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the. Ooh. Oh, that's unbelievable. Wow, that vertical is unbelievable. DeRozan pulls off the jam. Those poor defenders. Now here's Conley. Dingles. 
fires the three, buries it from three-point range. Ingles has got his first three points of the game. Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. White, good. So it's the Jazz now. Finally, the pass to Gobert. Mitchell outside. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. DeRozan, that shot off the mark. And Utah the other way now. Now, here's Ingles. Plays it up and banks it in. Ingles has got five. I'll tell you, you have to have some measure of composure close to the bucket. Mr. Ingles doing work. White goes in, and he gets it to go. Jazz trail by 11. Mitchell looking it over. And Pirtle sends it back. They recover it from deep. And it's out of bounds. Utah able to retain possession here. San Antonio making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. And Utah with a change here, too. Eliasova's checked in. And Utah has possession. They get it again. And another shot. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Well, Mike has specialized over the years in being able to get defenders committed. Nicely done. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. And the first one at the line is good. And they haven't let points get away from them at the line tonight. That's always something that will allow a coaching staff to breathe a little easier. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for George Nehan. That one misses, so he goes one for two. San Antonio leading by ten. Gay outside. Off target from three-point range. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Here's Conley. No good. Shot missing. White with the defensive effort. And White with the stuff. And how about breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk? A nice way to pad that lead a little more. You're right. Now Conley. And it's White with the rebound. White's got four rebounds in this game. He gets it in there. Murray's got his first best. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. The finish and transition, nice and easy. Now here is Conley. He climbs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Sometimes trailing in the game, players get sucked into trying to make that home run play. Here's White, an easy two points on the layup. White's got the lead up to 14 now for the Spurs. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Right side, Conley. The offensive rebound. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Jakob Pertl. Or Rudy Gobert showing a bit of an edge on the interior. This guy, if he goes up strong, the defense is going to have to whack him to contain him. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. He's off on the first. See, I have so much appreciation for the way Rudy Gobert plays the game. This guy takes smart shots on the offensive end. He uses that reach to perfection on the defensive end. He is a defense unto himself. And the Jazz making a change here. Clarkson's checked in. And no good on the second free throw. So he goes 0 for 2 there. San Antonio leading by 14. Johnson and foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. 
It's going to go on Boyan Bogdanovic. The Spurs have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Lonnie Walker, he's checked in for Derek White. Derek Favors checked in for the Jazz. So he gets them both. Here's Conley. He's got six. Addition out to Clarkson. Ilyasova kicks to Clarkson. Nailed from three-point land. Clarkson's got nine. Well, the one thing about Clarkson, a little bit inconsistent from deep, so that's a welcome sight for his team. Here's Johnson. Yep, it counts. Boy, have they gotten hot here in the second quarter. No wonder they're in front. Conley dishes to Bogdanovich. To the middle. It's stolen by Johnson. And here comes Walker. Leading the fast break. Good work defensively by Conley. Here's Clarkson. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And there's the call. San Antonio the foul. Jordan Clarkson tends to draw a lot of contact. If you look at his career, he doesn't end up at the free throw line as often as you'd think. First free throw is good. The one thing with Clarkson, sometimes he can get a little out of control. And he does a tremendous job creating offense and putting himself in a position to attack. And both free throws good for Clarkson. And Walker's got the ball here for the Spurs. At one point, they led by 16. Shoots over Clarkson. Here's Johnson. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Johnson's got six in the quarter. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Now here's Johnson. He has six. by Bogdanovich. Jazz trail by 15. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Clarkson's got 13. My goodness, what a move there to lose the defender. Got him on his heels, and then he made it look easy from there on in. Well, Gordy Zhang is a big man, is an excellent passer. That's a pretty look. Ilyasova passes to Clarkson. And that one is good. 15 points in the game. Boy, this guy has been terrific. The rest of the team, however, struggling. One thirty-one left in the first half. Walker against Clarkson. Just four to shoot. Walker's shot is off. Jazz trail by 14. Here's Conley. Six points for him. It's a hand on it. And there's Favors putting it right back in. Well, you like how Favors stays after it in that instance. When he's close to the bucket, boy, he's great at hustling for these second-chance points. Now here's Chang. Johnson from outside. That's good for his third bucket. Now three for six from the field. When the defense totally lost track of him, he punishes them with a three-pointer. That's a bad decision. A hand on it. We've got 33 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Mills. It's rebounded by Derek Favors. Favors got his sixth rebound on the night. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Now, here's Bogdanovich. Eight points for him. A pass to Favors. 
That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has got three assists tonight. And so it's the San Antonio Spurs. 13 points up at the end of the period. And their ability to get points in the paint has made all the difference in this one. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Coach Quinn Snyder. Quinn, what concerns you most about the first half? Well, I think the tempo is in their favor right now. They're, uh, they're fast, and they're getting up and down the floor. So they're running out in transition. Got to beat them to the punch. Thanks very much, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. How about the playoff atmosphere? We're going to break down all the first half action for you. Looking at the Spurs, they have rebounded very well from their loss in game one and have their eyes set squarely on evening this series up. What a response to a difficult opening game of the series for them. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on how San Antonio played? Well, they're out in front tonight because of their offensive rebound. Those second chance buckets came into play in a big way. Those are effort points, momentum builders, salvaging points off the scrap heap. You never heard me say scrap heap before. I, mean, I don't even know what it means. It just sounds like that. And over to Kenny now. Your take on the Jazz. Well, it's hard to defend a team that gets red out on the floor. I think the effort was there on D, but they could not come up with a plan to cool them off. We're bound to see a whole different game plan, a whole different approach from them coming out of the play. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. Without question, Derek White displaying his skills today. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. So on the floor for Utah. Conley and Mitchell, the talented backcourt pair. I got to the jack there with Joe Ingles. And it's Favors in at the five, roaming the paint. The Spurs have gone nine of ten from the line, so making the most of their chances. It's a 16-point game. Looking to get it going. Rebounded by the Spurs. Murray's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And DeRozan throws it down. <laughs> That's one way to do it. DeRozan shows off his aerial skills with the firm finish. Here's Conley. And Purtle sends it back. And here we go. Murray heading to the hoop. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. DeRozan's got his fourth assist in this one. Outside Conley to end the run. Trills the three-pointer. Conley's got nine points. Boy, you've got to love when Mike Conley shoots it with confidence. Goes to the catch-and-shoot game. All right, Mike. Conley against Murray. Nice shot by Pirtle. 80% shooting to start the third. Four for five. Jazz trail by 19. Conley dishes to Bogdanovich. And favorites kicks to Bogdanovich. On deep. Knocks it loose. Boy, as slow a start as you could have. Just one for four from the field. They're struggling. White. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Two shots. Two shots. 
and the first one gets. Gobert, he's checked in for Utah. George Niang comes in for Bogdanovich. throws good for White. Here is Conley. He's got nine. Passes it to Niang. Mitchell kicks to Conley. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Well, Mike Conley understands how to draw contact and still try to get a shot opportunity. He'll go to the line for the end one. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Spurs leading by 18. Murray, the pass to Purdy. And here's Gay. outside. Pass to Purdy. Pocket six. Gobert with the defensive effort. Utah has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. A three-pointer off the mark. Well, that's just inconsistency from him, and it's happened all night, and it hasn't helped their cause. Yeah, and I just like the show of force there from Gate. Not settling for the simple layup, but showing his dominance, trying to intimidate. Now, here's Mitchell. He's got ten. Conley's shot is off. And here's the break. White, wide open. He fires. No good on the three. Conley against Gabe. And Gobert kicks to Ingles. Conley with the three. Another miss by Conley. Listen, that's a look he can hit, but right now he can't throw it in the ocean. With the second effort and scoring with the play inside is Gabe. Okay, he's got his second bucket tonight. And really, the strength of Gay is impressive. Easily bouncing off the defense while still finishing the shot. The Jazz working the ball around now. Ingles can't get it to go. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. Here's DeRozan. Here's Pirtle. The rebound by the Jazz. surveying the D. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Conley's got 14 points. Well, smart shot selection from Mike Conley, right? Just get into your mid-range bag and complete the play. He does so there. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. Check in. On defense, Utah. Murray with the bounce pass. Gay finds DeRozan. And DeRozan throws it down hard. Well, there's a tenacity, a ferocity right now about DeMar DeRozan. This guy seems to want the ball every time down the floor. Conley. 14 points for him. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. So far in the game, he's 0 of 2 at the line. Mm -hmm. 
shoot two. And he makes the first. Ilya Silva, he's checked in for the Jazz. Gobert drops them both. Here's Murray. And he banks in the layup. Murray's got four points now in the quarter. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Now, here's Mitchell. After the miss from Derek White. White against Mitchell. He dishes it to Ilias Hope. Three-pointers off the mark. You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Sinks the three-pointer. Murray's got nine. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Has to go bear. Outside Conley. Rebound San Antonio. Murray's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Nobody near Gay. Cans the shot with nobody near him. He has six. Got to admire the fast release of Gay. Once he has the ball in his hands, he's looking to shoot. Here's Conley. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Well, individually, he is doing everything he can in this 12-minute session, but he's just not getting enough help. And here is Murray. He's got nine. Pirtle trying to get open. Murray, good. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. And that one drops for him. Well, you give Donovan the mid-range jumper. He will make you pay. The pass to get The shot misses. Now the Jazz take it the other way. O'Neal with it. Kicks it to Ilias Hova. Ice ball movement by Utah. Shot clock at six. Here's Mitchell. Here's Gobert. And Pirtle pulls it down. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Murray, this is the Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. I'm not sure which is better, Pirtle's screen or his finish. But either way, nice execution in the role. Utah calls timeout. Yeah, he needs to tell his guys to just box out with some energy. That, that's basic basketball. They've been lazy on the backboard and have allowed way too many second chance points. Fresh five on the floor. Then for the Jazz, Favors comes in for Rudy Gobert, and it's Clarkson in for Mike Conley. Puts one up from 19, but they get it there. Wow, just getting all the luck right now, it seems. Good bounce. That one a little long. It's Walker with the ball, bringing it up for San Antonio. Passes it to Eubanks. Here's Johnson. Makes it off the glass. Johnson's got 11 points. 
But when you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Now, here's Walker. He's got nine. Four on the clock. Utah with the rebound. Pass to Clarkson. Over Walker. The shot by Clarkson. No good. San Antonio's gone. One of three from downtown since halftime. Misses the three. Utah shooting 39% from the floor. Not their best. Here's O'Neal. Buries the corner three. O'Neal's got his second bucket of the night. You know, once a pass is made out of the double team like that, the defense is spread too thin to stop the bucket. Heads up assist there. Pass to Mills. Now, here's Walker. Over Ilias Hope. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. Here's Mitchell. Crops in the layup for two. Mitchell's got six points in the quarter. There is a level of physicality, and the frame of Donovan Mitchell allows him to finish through contact. Now here's Mills. Defended by Ilya Silva. Shot's good by Mills. And the Jazz call time here. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? Checked in for San Antonio. The Jazz also changing it up. Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Ilyasova. And it's Joe Ingles in for O'Neal. To the paint. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Uh, this guy is more than capable of making that play. Jordan Clarkson confident around the cup. Kicks it out to Johnson. From the arc. Good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got assist number five here tonight. Jazz shooting 39% from the floor since the half. Not really what they had in mind. Mitchell against Murray. Feeds to Clarkson. And the shot goes in. Clarkson's got four points now in the quarter. That's their third straight make off an assist. Banked in off the glass. And after really leaning on that three-point shot in the first half, seeming like they're uh, just getting away from it here in the second. More of the shots coming from the interior. And it's Mitchell missing. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Johnson finds Murray. Outside, Walker. From outside, off the mark. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Spurs out in front, opening up a huge gap. Live from the AT&T Center in San Antonio, you're watching 2K Sports. A chance now to hear Greg Popovich talking to his team just moments ago. Everybody got to rotate, rebound, there's pace going back. It's attack, attack, attack. Greg Popovich distilling it down to one simple concept. Be aggressive. Hey guys, he knows this game so 
well. When they control momentum, the pace, they're much harder to beat. NBA playoff round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. We've got Lyles, and it's Vassell in at the two guard. And that's who's in the game for the Spurs. Back to Clarkson. against Azubuki and block that one goes careening off the glass plus eight in the rebound differential one more reason why they're in control here's Vassell and they call the foul so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play yes, no clue how he got that one to fall first personal foul teams first And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Niang passes to Clarkson to the left side wing. Niang, no good. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the San Antonio Spurs. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. That's his first personal foul. Shooting for San Antonio. Devin Vassell at the line for two. Two shots. The first one falls. Both shots good from the strike. So it's the Jazz now. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's Clarkson. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And there's the call. San Antonio the foul. Jordan Clarks. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. And the Spurs making a change here. Mills is checked in. And both free throws good for Clarkson. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. For Utah, they've gotten off to a rough start in the fourth quarter, going 0 for 4 so far. Hughes up top. No good that time. And it's the Spurs taking it the other way. Back to Mills. There's the three. That's in coming off an assist from Johnson. Johnson's got three assists in the game. Outside Thomas. Niang passes to Azabuki. And he pings it home with one hand. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. Now here's Lyons. There's the pass to Mills. Off target from outside. Here's Clarkson, and that one is stuffed right through. Now, Jordan Clarkson can be a little bit streaky at times, but right now, this guy is on fire. Mills passes to Simonich. Now, here's Lyons. Just five on the clock. Here's Johnson off the left rim and out. Jazz have gone two of seven from the field in what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Pass to Clarkson. Here's Azabuki, and it's blocked. Now Mills. Here's 
Vassell, count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed assist. Vassell's got seven points here in this quarter. Pass to Clarkson. Here's Hughes. Back to Clarkson. And the layup's good off the glass. Clarkson's got 25 points in the game. Jordan Clarkson showing he's capable of finishing inside. Pass to Wiles. Here's Johnson. Hughes covering. Johnson can't hit. And here's Clarkson. He brings it up for the Jazz. At the line for the Jazz. Jordan Clarkson. At the line for two. Shooting two. throw good Clarkson DeMar DeRozan he's checked in for Johnson and both free throws good for Clarkson San Antonio's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth From 10 feet out, the rebound by Niang. Jazz have gotten only three of their nine field goal attempts to go down since the end of the third. Pretty cold down the stretch. Hughes against Lyons. Hughes kicks to Azabuki. Thomas outside. Rebound San Antonio. Miles got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Good on the shot. I think I can make the case that DeMar DeRozan finishes through contact like a big man. This guy is tremendous at end one opportunities. Utah shooting just 30% from the field here in the fourth. And there's the pass to Niang. Ball stolen. And out of bounds as the Jazz gain possession. Royce O'Neal's checked in for Clarkson. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And bringing that postseason intensity so key. These plays can change the trajectory of a game. Utah shooting 40% from the field. Thomas passes to Niang. Here's O'Neal. Yep, that one goes in there. Well, get it inside to a quality score and let this guy do his thing. DeRozan against O'Neal. DeRozan, that's good. Well, the handles of DeMar DeRozan taking center stage there. How about the ball skills? Taking advantage of those and converting. Now, here's Thomas. To the inside. Here's Azabuki. It's hauled in by Lyle. Lyle's got five rebounds tonight. This guy has not been a factor at all in this quarter, and it has hurt the team. And he has starting to turn it on now after that slow start. Now here's Thomas. D right on him. Here's Azabuki. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, easy call. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one.
No good on the second free throw. For San Antonio, they've gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. Mills are good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. I'll tell you, tough first half puts it in the rear view. The shooting percentage starting to reflect that. Thomas passes to Niang. DeRozan with the rebound. DeRozan's got six rebounds now in the game. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. And here is Hughes outside Thomas. Here's Azubuki. Another miss by Utah. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offense. Oh, that Ooh. was something else. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Here are the Spurs with the ball. They're on a 17-7 run. To the middle. Up and in on the layup. DeRozan's got 16 points here in the second half. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Hughes with it. Thomas passes to Azubuki. Clock at four. Shoots over DeRozan. A rebound by the Spurs. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. And they double up to Rosen. Lyles with a wide open look. Utah with the rebound. O'Neal's got his fourth rebound in this one. Passes it to Niang. Count it. Niang's got his first points of the night. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for San Antonio. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. This is, to me, a special ability to draw fouls, and that's one of the things that shooting sets DeRozan apart. We see him work these angles, get the call all the time. First one drops. Jamar DeRozan hits them both. Utah shooting has been dreadful lately, around 28% here in the fourth. As a bookie, the pass to Thomas. That one goes. Count it. Thomas got his first bucket in this one. That pass was about the location. Puts it perfectly into the hands of his teammate. Shoots from the elbow. And the shot is long. The Jazz shooting under 40% all in all for the game. Pass to Niang. O'Neal issues to Thomas. Down low, six to shoot. Here's Asabuki. Second chance shot. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And the foul goes against San Antonio. Taking two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. Good on the second free throw. Boy, he'd sure like to have that miss back. Hard to chip away at a lead when you're leaving freebies at the line. Pass to DeRozan, and they double up DeRozan. 
But they recover it. Wow, just getting all the luck right now, it seems. Good bounce. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Shooting for San Antonio, Luka Salmanich. Two shots. Two shots. Relax on the first. The first free throw is good. So he picks up just one from the line that time. And that one drops. DeRozan's got 13 points in just this quarter. Boy, officials say play on, even though there's contact. DeRozan, I guess they don't think he needs any help. And, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Fans are piling out the exits. Obviously a huge win here in game two for the Spurs. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And, man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And what a tremendous standout performance it was from Derek White. I think it would be impossible to overstate the influence he had on this basketball game. He was the centerpiece of what they did on the offensive end and the anchor of their defense. That's as complete a performance as we've seen. Here's Azebuki. It's stolen by DeRozan. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Vassell. Good. Nice job down low. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. Well, for all intents and purposes, this game is over. Just a matter of time here. Thomas gets to Niang. It's tipped. And so it's San Antonio. He usually taking this one. Just a massive victory, Greg. Maybe it's overstating it, but I think this was a game they had to have. And I don't think it's overstating it. I agree with you. I mean, going down 2-0 would have given this team a huge hill to climb. But now at one game apiece and with some momentum, this is anybody's suit. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Tomorrow, big effort tonight. What is the state of mind of this club right now? And just we focus in, in on the defensive end. We know if we get stopped, so we can definitely score whenever we want. And you got it done tonight, Demar. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that about wraps it up, folks. We hope you've enjoyed our broadcast of the NBA Western Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Old, this is Kevin Arlen along with our terrific 2K Sports crew. Thanking you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.